Welcome back everyone to the deep dive where we, you know, like to really dig into the latest scientific discoveries. Yeah. And today we have a really uh, interesting topic and a really promising topic, frankly. Absolutely. Um, and we are going to be focusing on some HIV cure research mm -hmm. that is uh, really breaking new ground. Yeah. Um, and the source material we're working from today is uh, a press release that was uh, just released by the AIDS Clinical Trials Group, uh, better known as ACTG. Right. And um, they announced that they're launching a new clinical trial uh, in Africa, and it's called the KCIA study. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what's so interesting about this is that you know, we've been kind of, you know, we talk about art a lot, which is antiretroviral therapy, right? Um, and how effective that is. Mm -hmm. But this is really looking at something totally different, completely different. Um, and it has to do with these broadly neutralizing antibodies. Yeah, these are really interesting. Yeah, so maybe we could start off by just you know, for our listeners who maybe aren't as familiar with them, could you kind of give us a breakdown of like what they are and how they work? Yeah. So, you know, you think about HIV treatment right now, and it's really focused on RT, antiretroviral therapy. And as you said, it's very effective at controlling the virus. Yeah, really. Like keeping people healthy, but it's not a cure, right? right? It doesn't eliminate HIV from the body. And so these broadly neutralizing antibodies, or BNABs as they're called, they offer this completely different approach. Mm -hmm. They're these really, really potent antibodies that can actually target and neutralize HIV in a way that art drugs can't. Wow. Um, and so the way they work is they, they bind to specific sites on the virus, okay. and they basically block its ability to infect new cells. So they're kind of like going right to the source. Exactly, yeah. Wow. And and what's really exciting is that some of these DNABs have shown, you know, in, in earlier trials, that they can actually suppress HIV for extended periods of time. That's huge. Even after treatment is stopped, which is something you don't see with RT. That's amazing. So it's really, you know, a totally different way of thinking about how to tackle HIV. So this trial, the KGA study, it's looking at two specific types of these broadly neutralizing antibodies. That's right, yeah. Um, and can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yeah, so the two BNABs being tested in the AKCA study are called 3BNC117LS and 10174LS. And those names just roll off the tongue. I know, they're very catchy. Yeah, very catchy. Um, but they've both shown a lot of promise in earlier research. Okay. And, and what's interesting is that they target different parts of the virus. Okay. So 3BNC117LS binds to a site on HIV's envelope protein, which is what the virus uses to attach to and enter human cells. Okay. Um, whereas 10174LS, it targets a different site on the same protein. Gotcha. Um, and so the idea is that by using these two BNAVs together, yeah. you can potentially hit the virus from multiple angles yeah. and make it harder for it to escape. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, because HIV, as you know, is very good at mutating and evading treatment. Right. Yes. So having this kind of multi-pronged approach yeah. is really crucial. So this, this Acacia study is taking place in four different African countries. It is, yes. Um, and I think it's really significant that it's, it's you know, being conducted in Africa. Yeah. Which, as we know, has the highest burden of HIV. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so can you talk a little bit about why that decision was made? Yeah, I think it's a really important point. You know, yeah. for too long, a lot of HIV research has been focused on high income countries. Right. And and that's led to disparities in access to treatment and care. Of course. So conducting this trial in Africa is a really critical step towards ensuring that any potential cures that are developed right. are accessible to the people who need them most. Of course. Um, and, and it also, you know, just from a scientific standpoint, it makes sense to conduct trials in the areas where the disease is most prevalent. Yeah, that's right. Because it allows researchers to study the virus in a diverse population yeah. and, you know, potentially identify new approaches that might not have been apparent in other settings. Wow, that's a really great point. So, you know, as we've been talking about this, I, I can't help but feel this sense of hope and possibility. I agree. Um, it seems like this AKCA study is really, you know, a pivotal moment in HIV cure research. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's really inspiring to see this kind of global effort mm. to to find a cure for HIV. Absolutely. And it's it's not just about the science, right? Uh, it's about the collaboration. It's about the commitment to equity. Yeah. And it's about ensuring that everyone has the chance to live a long and healthy life free from HIV. So I guess, you know, just to kind of 
wrap things up for our listeners, um, you know, what are some of the things that we should all be thinking about as we follow the progress of this study? Yeah, well, I think one of the big questions is going to be, you know, how durable are the effects of these BNABs, right? right? Can they provide long-term suppression of HIV? Right. Um, and will people need ongoing treatment with them? Or can they potentially achieve a functional cure where the virus is essentially inactive, right. even without medication? Um, Another important question is going to be, you know, how well these BNABs work in different populations. Right. You know, are there certain groups of people who might benefit more from them than others? Right. Um, and then, of course, there are the practical considerations. Yeah. You know, how easy are these BNABs to administer? Yeah. What are the potential side effects? Of course. And how much will they cost? Yeah. Those are all such important questions. Yeah. So it really seems like the next few years are going to be really exciting. Absolutely. Um, as we follow the results of this trial and see what it means for the future of HIV cure research. Yeah, and I think it also you know, raises this bigger question of what other scientific breakthroughs might be needed. Yeah. You know, are BNABs going to be the answer on their own? Right. Or are they going to need to be combined with other approaches? Right. You know, like gene therapy or therapeutic vaccines. Wow, that's a really great point. Yeah, so there's still a lot of work to be done, but this trial, yeah, it definitely represents a major step forward. It really does. And it gives us a lot of hope. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for breaking all this down for us. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, and to all of our listeners out there, thank you so much for joining us on this deep dive. Yeah, thanks everyone. And make sure to stay tuned because we're going to be following this Acacia study very closely and we'll keep you updated on all the latest developments. Absolutely. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.